case you're using Sublime Rapper with Sublime, that is Sublime Text, which is very uh, useful, you see that if I print here, uh, if I press Ctrl and B, I get version 3.8.5. If I press Ctrl Alt and B, uh, if I press Ctrl Alt and B, I get a version 3.9. So you can use different versions. See how you can do it. Where you have to go, you get to go into uh, Tools, Preferences. Rows packages again go into user and then get the default Windows Sublime key map. And you see that here I got the keys that I can use to run uh, Python 3.8 is in here and Python 3.9 is in here. So you get different keys with the caption Sublime Rapple, ED Sublime Rapple, uh, mnemonic R. And then we are the arguments that are types to process UTF-8 as encoding and the command is here. And here you get to uh, put your path to your uh, Python .exe version, and then put this dash u dash e and this uh, dollars file base name. Uh, and so these other things that I will put into uh, the info and, and this one. So if you want to get the path to your uh, Python installation you just have to go for example here uh, in the normal command line um, let's go in the command line so that you can get it so you go into Python at uh, the Python interpreter you see here we want to know where is it you go import sys and then go sys path and you see in here that um, let's check out where is the exe file and it is uh, it is in here for example you can go get this control and paste it and then you just have to add You just have to add the the final part here, the Python um, slash slash Python dot axis. So this is you see my my path, and so you will find your path if eventually is is different than this, and you will put the path in here so that it will, it will run the version that you want 3.8 I got another version 3.9 I could use also another version of 3.7 to for example if I want to add also the 3.7 version that I also got into my uh, computer I just have to go 3.7 here and instead of control I could go control shift plus B and see if it works so let me go here so control B um, let me delete this so you can see it control B it's the control B it's a version 3.8 control alt and B it's a version 3.9 and control shift and B Uh, for doesn't works so maybe it has some let's do just then you have to see if you do not have other keys for example I use also terminus and you see that alt plus Alt plus B plus C etc. You see Alt plus one. You see here. I can run the terminus from here. Alt plus two. It's this one. Alt plus B. I got it also here. It's a git bash, so it's not good to use Alt plus B. But um, I want to use Control 
Alt. Plus Alt. Plus. And plus P, maybe. So let's check your out. Alt plus P, Control Alt and MB. It's a three point nine. Control Alt and P. Control Alt and P is the version three point seven point three that I got in here. So that is how you can get it. Go in browse packages, go into users, and open uh, Windows Sublime. Came up and you find all your shortcut to run your plugins and so on so that's all and that's uh, that is all about uh, using your shortcut in uh, sublime text to run uh, to run python through sublime repl and uh, and to run different versions of python uh, within sublime repl so thank you and see you next time